We've now derived the idea of a budget line and a budget equation, and we've related those to each other. So in the budget equation, we have an intercept term and a slope term. So the intercept is the y-intercept, and the slope is minus p1 over p2 which we said is the opportunity cost of the good one in terms of the good two. Now that we have that, we can ask what happens to your budget line, to what you can afford, as your economic circumstances change. And in our simple model so far, your economic circumstances are fully described by your income, by the price of good one, and the price of good two. That's what determines how much you can afford. So we can ask, how is this budget line going to change as these economic circumstances change? So for instance, suppose your income goes up. What's going to happen to this budget line? Well, one way to think about that is just look at the budget equation. Where does the income term appear? It appears in the intercept. It doesn't appear in the slope. And that kind of makes sense, because the slope is the opportunity cost of good one in terms of good two, if the prices haven't changed, then the trade-off between those two goods hasn't changed. So the opportunity costs haven't changed, which is why the slope hasn't changed. So if there's an increase in income, we see no change in the slope. We just see a change in the intercept. So what we're going to get is a parallel shift in the budget line. Slope stays the same, so the new budget line is going to be parallel to this budget line. But if income goes up, then that intercept term is going to shift up. So we're going to see an outward shift in this budget line with an increase in income. And again, that should make intuitive sense. As your income goes up, your economic opportunities in terms of what you can afford increase. Well, if income goes down, well, if income goes down, again, income only appears in the intercept, the slope doesn't change, we'll get another parallel shift, only this time the parallel shift is in the other direction. Your economic opportunities are decreasing as your income shifts, so your budget is shrinking. So that's the first kind of economic circumstance that could change. But we could also see changes in prices. So let's look at what a change in the price of good one would mean. So we can restart with our original budget line. We have an intercept term, income divided by P2, and we have a slope of minus P1 over P2. Now suppose that the price of good one increases. We can now see where that price of good one appears in the budget equation. It appears in only one place. It appears in the slope. And that makes sense. That slope is the opportunity cost of good one in terms of good two. If the price of good one changes, that opportunity cost is going to change. The trade-off between those two goods is going to change. And thus the slope changes. So if the price of good one goes up, the numerator in this fraction goes up, which means the total number in absolute value is going to increase which means a steeper slope. So an increase in the price of good one is going to create a steeper slope, but it's not going to change the intercept. So a steeper slope would mean that we get an inward rotation of the budget line, and that too should make intuitive sense. If the price of good two isn't changing, and only the price of good one changes, then if all you buy is good two, you can still buy exactly the same quantity as you did before. A change in the price of good one hasn't affected you. But if you do buy good one, then an increase in the price of good one means you can buy less now than you could before. If you buy only good one, you can certainly not buy as much as you could before. So that then would be an increase in the price of good one. And of course, a decrease in the price of good one would just be the opposite. 
now we would see a decrease in the price of good one so that number in absolute value is going to fall which means the slope is going to be shallower but the intercept hasn't changed so a shallower slope with the same intercept means we're going to rotate out so that should again make intuitive sense if the price of good one falls you can buy more of good one if that's all you buy if all you buy is good too, nothing's changed for you, so the intercept stays the same. So a price change is going to change the slope and therefore change the opportunity cost of the goods. Finally, you can look at what happens if there's a change in the price of good too. So if there's a change in the price of good too, we can again start with our original graph. We have a y-intercept of income divided by the price of good 2, and we have a slope of P1 over P2. An increase in the price of good 2 would mean that both the intercept and the slope is changing. But before we think about that, let's just think intuitively about what should happen in the graph. If the price of good 2 increases, then if all you do is buy good 1, it doesn't affect you. You can still afford exactly the same point on this axis. But when the price of good 2 increases and you buy only x2, you won't be able to buy as much anymore, which is why that intercept is going to change. So now we have a new budget line that rotates inward. Only now it rotates around the point on the horizontal axis and not the point on the vertical axis. So we can see intuitively what should happen. That point should remain, but that intercept should fall, which means the slope is changing. So we can now go back to this and say, does that comply with what the equation says? Well, we have P2 in the intercept. If the price of good 2 increases, since it's happening in the denominator, this number is going to fall. So we can see this drop in the intercept. If the price increases, the price of good 2 increases in the slope, we get that number to fall in absolute value, which means we get a shallower slope. And that's exactly what the picture says. Finally, we can ask, what if the price of good 2 falls? If the price of good 2 falls, then again, if all you buy is x1, it shouldn't affect you at all. So that point will still remain the same point. But if you buy only good 2 and the price of good 2 has fallen, you'll be able to buy more than you did before. So that intercept is going to increase. So what we should get is an outward rotation around this point, a steeper slope, and a higher intercept. When P2 increases, then, uh, I mean, when P2 falls, then this term in the denominator falls, which means this fraction is going to increase, giving us the higher intercept. When P2 falls, this denominator falls, which means this number is going to get greater in absolute value, which means we get a steeper slope. So by just knowing what the budget equation is, or by just thinking through it intuitively, we can see how changing economic circumstances will change the budget line.